And I want to look at figuring out some of the calculations of my data, like the mean and the standard deviation and the median, things like this. The first command I'm going to look at is mean. This will give me the average. So for instance, if I want the average diameter, I can do the mean of trees dollar sign D-I-A-M to refer to that particular column, and I can see my mean diameter is 62.5625. Similarly, I could find my mean age by using mean of trees, dollar sign H. We can see the mean age of these trees is 176.25. We can also find standard deviation using the command SD. So my standard deviation of the diameter would be 23.35, and the standard deviation of my age would be 61.39. So we can see that the standard deviation for the age is much higher than the standard deviation for the diameter. We also have the command median. This will tell me my median diameter, which we can see is 62.5, very close to the median or the mean diameter, which means that distribution is roughly symmetric. And if I do the median of the age, we can see the median age is 175.5. Once again, really close to the mean of the age, which is 176.25, which tells me this is going to be a fairly symmetric distribution. I can also use the command summary. So if I look at the summary of the diameter, this is actually going to give me a lot of information. My minimum, my first quartile, my median, my mean, my third quartile, and my max. So it gives me the full five number summary with the addition of the mean. If I look at my summary of my age, I can see I have a minimum of 70, a first quartile of 126.2. I have my median and my mean, my third quartile and my max. So we can get a lot of information from these data values using these commands. If I wanted to double check that I don't have any outliers for the age, we would have to do some basic calculations. The general formula is Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR and Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. So if I do the first one, I can see my first quartile is 126.2 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is the difference between the third quartile, 224.2, and the first quartile, 126.2. Running that tells me to have a lower outlier, I would need an age of smaller than negative 20.8 years, which I definitely don't have in my set. For the second piece, I have Q3, which was 224.2, plus this same 1.5 times IQR. And if I run that, I can see that to have an upper outlier, I need an age larger than 371.2. Since my maximum is 302, I can see that there are no outliers for my age.